Hey guys, in this video I'm really excited to show you the latest from Rode, which is the Rode Wireless Go 2. So, in case you don't know what the Rode Wireless Go 2 is, uh, it's basically a compact wireless microphone system. And this is version number 2. Rode was the first one to kind of release these compact uh, all-in-one uh, microphones and uh, a lot of companies since then have actually kind of jumped on the bandwagon copied them uh, and i reviewed a whole bunch of those other uh, microphone systems but now rode has sort of listened to their customers requests and did some major updates to this and i would say that, you know if you don't have time to watch the whole video but you just want to see okay what is the big difference between this and version one uh, it's basically the fact that this one has dual microphones with transmitters and both of these transmitters connect to one receiver. And the other big feature is also the fact that now you can have internal recordings into the actual uh, transmitters. So in case you ever do lose signal, uh, you're, you, know, you have a backup recording that then you can later on replace that in your editing software. Now if you've used the previous version of the Rode Wireless Go or maybe you're wondering uh, how the, the previous one operated, uh, like I said, the, that one had only one channel, meaning uh, you had one transmitter with a microphone capsule in it and one receiver. Now you could do two microphones on set uh, and you could actually feed them into, um, let's say, a standard sort of a DSLR camera uh, by splitting the, the signal basically so that one microphone goes into the left channel, the other one goes to the right channel. The only way to do that though was to uh, basically get this Y splitter cable uh, and then uh, you also would have to mount the two receivers on your camera and Rode provided those, you know, those accessories, the cables and these little mounts. But now what's cool is that you, as you can see you have one receiver and this one receiver is able to, like I said, connect to both of these transmitters and, and it can now send out the signal out to your recording device or your camera, uh, your phone, uh, and it can send it out in either a stereo mode or, uh, or a mono mode. So mono means that, you know, if you, for example, just want to use one microphone, you can still obviously do that, or you can do two microphones and you can just down mix it into one mono uh, signal. And so this would then output uh, left and right channels that would be identical. Now, if you switch this to stereo, then that actually will record one microphone on left and the other microphone on the right channel and then that gives you the ability later on in post-production uh, to individually adjust the levels from each of the microphones and then you can down mix them to your final edit. Uh, so you have that capability with this now and it just basically means that this whole system is a lot smaller easier to set up in case you wanted to have actually two microphones for let's say if you're doing like a standard interview uh, kind of a setup. Now let's take a look at the, the transmitters. So the transmitters uh, are pretty much the same size and weight as the, the version one uh, and, and they are very similar. Like the first for example you'll see that you know they all come with this clip which you can use to clip for example the microphones to your shirt like I have one up here uh, or you can also use this to put it to any cold shoe mount or, or hot shoe mount on, on cameras and other devices because it fits in that. Um, uh, here on the bottom you have your power button which also will work as a mute button if you just press it shortly. Uh, you have on the side here a USB-C which is used for uh, both charging the internal battery and now the internal batteries on, on these uh, both the transmitters and the receivers uh, are going to go up to seven hours between six and seven hours uh, and that's kind of consistently what I've been getting when using this. Uh, up here on the top you have a built-in microphone capsule because again if you didn't know the, just like the previous version of the Rode Wireless Go uh, that's the kind of cool thing is that if you want to you can use the actual transmitters as your microphone so you can hide it somewhere uh, or you can just have it out like I have it up here and, and in fact the whole audio here in this video is actually being recorded on another uh, Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone and not only that but this will also show you if there's for example any interference or things like that because uh, I do have these two microphones running I have this transmitter here running and another receiver on the camera and then on top of that I have actually multiple wireless Wi-Fi networks which are in the same frequency as this which is a 2.4 uh, gigahertz frequency 
uh, and then I have cell phones and things like that in here in my studio. So there's a lot of definitely signal interference, but so far from my testing, I noticed that the Rode Wireless Go 2 has been very good. And it's, I guess, in part thanks to the 128-bit encryption sort of technology that switches automatically and looks for the, the, the cleanest channels or the cleanest frequencies. Um, so, so far, again, like I said, I haven't had any problems with this. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of, you know, what you can use this USB-C for is to charge the batteries. Also, you can actually use this to connect it to a computer, uh, you know, uh, Apple computer or Windows, and using the um, Rode Central app that you can download from their website, you can change certain settings within these. But the biggest thing you can do with this is then you can uh, use that app to uh, basically offload the actual recordings or your backup recordings that are going to be stored internally in a memory that's uh, built into the actual transmitters. So once you plug the USB-C cable, you'll be able to see those recordings. You can export them in different settings and things like that. Now there's uh, two different ways that you can record or two different settings, I would say. And that's uh, uncompressed, meaning when it's uncompressed, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take up a lot more space and you'll be able to record up to seven hours. Uh, of you know continuous audio recording onto the the transmitter or you can also switch to a compressed recording uh, which to be honest from my testing so far i haven't heard a difference between the uncompressed and, and the compressed recording but with the compressed recording you get up to 24 hours of continuous recording uh, uh, onto you know the internal memory of the, the tr transmitters and if you're kind of wondering again how that works like i said the second that you connect these transmitters to the receiver it will enable the recording you're going to see a little record uh, icon which as you can see right now i'm recording uh, because you see the little red red uh, record icons there so that means both of these microphones are internally recording and then once you're done with this you connect it to your computer and you can offload those files using the, the Road Central app. Now, something just to be aware of, and this is probably a bug that I've just spotted as of today. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing this is something that Road is gonna fix in the future firmware update. Uh, maybe, I, and I think it's the app actually. It's not, I don't even think it's the, the Road uh, microphones, but basically whenever I was doing recordings, the uncompressed recordings, uh, in, in, in the microphones and then I would connect it to my computer. I was not able to export them basically more than seven minutes. So the recording was longer than, and actually to be specific, it was seven minutes and 14 seconds. So if, if you guys at Rode are listening to this, this is like a weird bug that I found. But I first, first I thought it was maybe something wrong with my computer. I tried several of my computers, three different uh, computers. Now they're all Windows computers but they all had the same bug. So meaning I could not export um, the raw recordings that were uh, recorded internally here on these microphones to my computer uh, past seven minutes and 14 second mark. So all of them, it was doesn't matter which recording I did or whatever. So that, that's sort of like a, this bug. Now I can hear the recording because when I go to play it, I can hear it within the app, but I just can't seem to export it. Uh, but if, when I record it internally in compressed, uh, audio setting, then I had no problems. I could export the whole thing. Now, if you want my honest opinion, I would say just stick to the compressed recording. Again, you get a lot more recording that you can do, plus you have none of those issues. Um, but anyways, that's sort of how it works. And then on the top here, you have your LED lights, which show you if the, the microphone is, or the transmitter slash microphone is connected to the receiver. And then you actually have a built-in microphone capsule, just like the first version. And it's a very good quality microphone capsule, I think. Uh, and again, you can judge the audio quality by listening to the audio in this video because you know, that's, that's what I'm recording it on. Uh, and then you have here a three and a half millimeter jack for an external lavalier microphone, which does not come with the kit uh, unless you get the, the higher, one of the more expensive version of the kit, but you can buy these microphones separately or if you have, let's say the previous version, those microphones, you know, those lav microphones will work great. Or you can actually connect, you know, like the Rode shotgun microphones or, or any three and a half millimeter mi basically microphone. You can plug it into here. You can even plug in XLR microphones if you get the literal uh, Rode adapter, which is the XLR to a three and a half millimeter jack. And then you get their cable and then you can plug it in here. So that's kind of how it works. Now, when it comes to the receiver itself, it's identical in size to the transmitters. Uh, and it just simply has a slightly different layout. So it also has the little clip here in the back. So 
uh, you can attach it like I have right now my other receiver attached to the camera the cold shoe mount uh, you have your power button here on the top uh, on the side you have a USB-C which again allows you to charge the internal battery or you can connect it to your computer so you can change some of the settings uh, you have your line out which is a three and a half millimeter jack uh, and it comes with the cable so you can plug it into your uh, your camera, your phone, you know, your computer, whatever it is that you want to connect it to. Um, and then uh, up here on the bottom, you have your gain adjustment, so you can adjust the, the levels, and you can adjust it in three increments, or if you go to the app, uh, and then you change the setting, then you can actually uh, do it so that you have uh, 10 increments in 3 dB, basically, you know, jumps. Uh, so you can go from minus 30 to 0 dB, uh, and so then it gives you a lot more finer control. Uh, and then here you have your pairing button in case you do ever want to pair, like let's see if they do go you know, out of sync. But to be honest, like once you connect your microphones to your transmitter, and then let's say you have another s version of the system like I have right now, uh, you're not going to ever have problems with the connecting. It always finds itself basically and it always connects to the right channel. Uh, but if you ever did want to reset it or let's say connect another different microphone, you can do that. Now if you press these two buttons together, uh, then you're going to be able to switch between the stereo or the mono mode, like I said. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, when it comes to the transmitters again, uh, like I said, they have a built-in microphone capsule. And when you get this whole kit, you'll actually get these little, you know, furry windscreens, just like in the, the previous version of the Rode Wireless Go, with slight improvement. And I think this is a big improvement that uh, that was something that was really annoying me, let's just say, on the, on the first version of the Rode Wireless Go, which was... These things, they worked great uh, in, you know, when it comes to actually stopping the wind noise. So if you had any direct wind or, or let's say somebody talking directly to the mic, you would hear the, the, you know, those, those artifacts. But uh, with this thing, that would protect that. The only issue with the first version was that these things would just fall off very easily. And actually last one of mine, uh, when I was basically recording once, because it was actually so windy, this thing just blew off and <laughs> that was it. Well, now they kind of have this little mount that has these two little dots and you kind of line them up to these two little dots they have up here and you see you have arrows pointing and what you do is you basically you put it in there and then you rotate it. You can see it's just like a, like a quarter of a turn and it locks it in there and now this thing is not coming out. Like you can pull on it you can think, and it's not coming out and that's a great improvement so now i don't have to worry about these things falling off uh so that, that that's that's the one i think again a, a welcome improvement that uh, that they did and i'm sure they did this after a lot of people like me were complaining online about uh, the original windscreens falling off uh, also when you buy this whole system like i said you get a few extra things like you get the little carrying pouch so you can put all of the the, the three transmitters, I mean, the, the two transmitters and receivers. Uh, you get also these cables. So you have your cable that uh, is your stereo, you know, TRS cable. So you can plug this into your, your phone or your, or your audio recording device. And then you also get three of these basically standard USB to USB-C type cables. So you can charge all, all three of these uh, units. Uh, now, if you wanted to, like I said, to get cable so you can plug it into like, like a TRRS cable so plug it into mobile devices uh, then you can get that separately but with most phones or I should say with most phones that have USB-C connection now, now, nowadays uh, you won't have to worry about it because the actual receiver can connect using the USB-C now to let's say a phone uh, or your computer and you can actually use it basically as an audio uh, interface or device so then uh, these microphones will transmit actually and this will send a digital audio signal to your phone so it's a, it makes it a lot easier now if you're using let's say an, uh, an uh, ios device and you want to be able to connect it then you can get a cable from road uh, that's basically a usb-c to the the lightning port uh, cable so look out for that one and, and on their website and you can you can get that if you if that's that's what you're looking for uh, but otherwise yeah i think these are really good improvements now maybe let's see how it works outside yeah, so now i'm going to test out the system at a long range and again as always i've got my favorite assistant slash supermodel slash actress thank <laughs> my, you my wife chrysia and uh, <laughs> she's got uh, the one transmitter there it's on 
to leave on the right channel and I'm on the on the left channel so we're obviously in stereo mode and anyways we're gonna keep on walking back and hopefully it all sounds good so let's go all right all right and here we are around 100 feet away uh, yeah around 100 feet uh, and anyways this is how it sounds at 100 feet hello this is how this one sounds <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's let's keep on walking further <laughs> All right, now we're 200 feet away from the, the camera and this is how I sound and... I, you think this is 200 feet? <laughs> yeah, I know because I was measuring on Google Earth. Oh, so. oh fancy. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> this is how this one sounds. Yeah. All right, now we are 300 feet away. So 300 feet away, what do you think? It's going to work? Yeah, I think it's going to work. Yeah. Right? It's not that far from the house. Well, if before, you know, or many of the other like similar systems, they can't go that even that far. Oh. So this one's 300 feet away. Now the working distance of this is uh, 650 feet, or okay. I believe it's like two, 200 meters. So we're um, halfway there. What's that? We're halfway there. We're halfway there, basically. So <laughs> we, we got a little bit more walking to do. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I don't, I'm not even sure if you guys can see us right now. Uh, and we do have actually the little windscreens mounted on it. Not that there's really any wind today, but if in case there is, they should protect it. Anyways, let's go further. All right, let's go. And right now we're about 500 feet. So probably very far. I can't even see the camera. <laughs> can you? Yeah, I can see the camera. You can see it? Okay, man. Yeah. I, I need to fix my vision. Okay. All right, let's go even further. Okay. All right, and now we are 600 feet away. 600 feet away, this is how I sound. And and this is how I sound. It's very <laughs> chilly today. It is very chilly. And uh, the wind actually is picking up a little bit in a few, in a few moments. And let's go all the way up to basically 650 feet. Should be working. It is open line of sight, but I mean, you know, there's cars every so on, as you guys can see. So cars uh, coming right now. Yeah. Oh, no, and it's actually turning. Uh, and New uh, turn. And, uh, and basically at the end of the day though, the, I guess the great thing about the system is even if it does cut out, we got internal recordings. Oh, so. So it's a backup. So in, oh, nice. unless you're doing it live, I guess, then, then you, it wouldn't work. But if you're not doing it live, then the great thing is, you know, we got all the backup recordings so I can just replace the audio in editing. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's good. But you can't do that, you're testing it, I'm right? testing it out, yeah. Oh, anyway, okay. so this is us at 650 feet away. And now we're heading back. So we went all the way to 650 feet away from the camera. And hopefully it sounded good, but if you guys actually want, I'm going to let you download the original internal recordings uh, in the, both of the transmitters that I enabled. And that's the great thing about the system is that even if you do go really far and something unexpected happens and the signal comes and cuts out, unless I guess you're doing it for live broadcast or live streaming, uh, you know, then you're going to be saved because you can just take the internal recordings, throw it into your editing software and replace the audio. All right, so I'm back in the studio and now uh, the audio that you guys are hearing is, again, it's still going through the Rode Wireless Go uh, transmitter, but as you notice, I have a microphone plugged into the 3.5mm jack and it's the, the Rode uh, Laugh microphone that you can get as an accessory for this uh, that I have mounted up here. And, uh, and anyways, uh, again, this is how it sounds, just if you're wondering. Now, of course, Keep in mind, you can get any, you know, lavalier microphones if you already have some, or maybe there's some other ones that you heard that you really like the sound of it. And again, you can plug it in and you can use it with the system. So uh, anyways, I, have, I guess sort of in, in conclusion, I'm very happy that Rode listened to the customers and sort of did all these improvements. The main one being that the fact that you can, uh, you know, now have two transmitters, you know, slash microphones going to one receiver it just makes the whole setup a lot quicker and, and smaller also on the, when it's mounted on like a you know kind of a run and gun sort of a setup on, on a dslr type of camera uh, but if you want to you can also use it for for professional work now the good thing is like i said now that in case you were worried about losing the signal which i noticed that the signal now is, is a lot better a lot less of an sort of a chance of of the signal being cut, cutting in and out but if you're again, if you're worrying about that, you have those internal recordings that you can enable uh, in, in each of the microphones. So again, that, that means to just, you know, it's kind of like now having not just a wireless microphone system, but having a little portable recorder 
uh, with you and it's all so nice and tiny and easy to conceal um, and it's just you know just easy to use so I really like the you know I, I like the, the previous version of the Rode Wireless Go and then I was of course uh, you know very interested when I was seeing all these other companies releasing all these systems that were kind of duplicating them and some of them had like some interesting features like there were some companies that were the first ones to kind of introduce the you know two microphones uh, connecting to one receiver but none of them really in my opinion got it quite right or as as well kind of uh, created a, as, as an well-rounded product and product that just sounds good and works uh, as a road so I'm, I'm really happy with this one that's why I right away had to get this one and uh, as you can see I have two of these now uh, because you know now if I want to I can have let's say if I'm doing two angles I can record now four channels two on one camera two on the other camera without ever needing uh, another separate audio recorder or things like that but if you wanted to like I said you can plug it in using the, the adapters to an XLR uh, basically connection to any kind of a standard mixer or portable recorder so if you want to have that option you can do that so you can get like an eight track recording device and with two of these you'll very easily be able to record there well I guess even a four channel uh, but well, you know or if you just want to get a simple recorder that has two channels but anyways uh, possibilities are now I'm not going to say endless but uh, <laughs> there there's a lot more possibilities now thanks to this new update from Rode so um, as always if you guys are interested in finding out where you can get this system uh, from different retailers online uh, latest prices and all that stuff you know just follow the links in the description of this video and if you use my links there are affiliate links it's going to help me a lot and allow me to do more of these kind of reviews for you guys uh, without costing you anything extra so I greatly appreciate it but also if you just simply want to find out uh, for example like some of the other reviews that I did of, of the other systems that are maybe more some of them are more affordable than the road but uh, again just have different options and you want to kind of compare it then head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com while you're there don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter uh, but over there you'll find a lot of these other reviews and also I'm gonna be doing actually a following up video kind of comparing this alongside all these other kind of compact wireless microphone system options that are out there and kind of comparing the, the prices the different things that they come with and all that stuff and uh, you know above all the performance uh, you know between all these systems so you'll be able to hear it all in one video compare it and kind of be able to make a decision I guess for yourself as to which system you think is is the best for you and your budget uh, anyways again my name is Tom and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.